Strategically located in the eastern Mediterranean, Cyprus has been divided in two since 1974 when Turkish forces invaded the north of the island to protect the Turkish Cypriot minority in response to a brief Athens-inspired coup. Some 200,000 people abandoned their homes, belongings and land as Greek Cypriots fled to the south and Turkish Cypriots to the north. Today, the island of around 1 million people remains bitterly divided. The internationally recognised Republic of Cyprus, an EU member, governs the southern part. The self-proclaimed Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, recognised only by Ankara, controls the northern third. One solution to reunify the island involves creating a bizonal federation. Property ownership is one of the key challenges for the Cyprus peace negotiators. In the north, many Greek Cypriot properties are now occupied by Turkish Cypriots, Turkish settlers and even foreigners who bought them in controversial circumstances. In the south, the government has assigned some former Turkish Cypriot homes to Greek Cypriot refugees. Territorial adjustments and security arrangements are also deeply divisive issues. While it's always been agreed that some of the territory currently controlled by the Turkish Cypriots will be ceded to Greek Cypriots in any peace deal, how much and which land has hampered four decades of talks. Turkey has deployed some 30,000 troops to the island and this is seen as a major obstacle to reunification. In 2003, travel restrictions were eased for the first time, allowing people from each community to cross the UN buffer zone known as the Green Line. The following year, the majority of Turkish Cypriots backed a UN reunification plan, but it was overwhelmingly rejected by Greek Cypriots. Cyprus then joined the European Union, although EU legislation is suspended in the north until a settlement is reached. 